For those who are paying attention, it's very clear. The global economy is rapidly slowing down and the companies are laying people off. The difference between last cycle and this cycle is that robotics and automation have advanced. Once a resurgence in the economy eventually occurs, there will be much less need for employers to hire all of their former staff. This will have a long-term impact on the economy that will not be resolved by central banks. You came here for the truth, so let me unveil that for you. Central banks are here to save the day. Well, that's not the case, of course. This is what we are presented with in the mainstream media. They tell you that they want to extend the cycle, and they know that this is naturally the end of where it should be. They know that the problems that we have encountered so far are because of their actions in the first place, but this is what we have to deal with. Well, of course, you do get these cycles that come to an end and as a result central banks need to act aggressively they will never ever admit the problem as it happens they will always suggest that it was unprecedented that it was unimaginable and then we find ourselves in such a deep situation that was like 2000 2001 that was like 2007 2008 they will not react appropriately and as a result only exacerbate the issues Look at what's happening with the mass job cuts. I talked about Deutsche Bank and then I said that this company will simply lead the charge for other companies to do the same. I'm going to show you some of those today and you will see that it's not just one sector. It's not just the car companies. It's not just the financial companies. But of course, this goes all around the world, all different sectors. Let's get into a handful right away. Citigroup is preparing hundreds of job cuts at its slumping trading division as more of the world's largest firms respond to dormant clients with layoffs. This is just one company doing this. Of course, we can see that all of these different financial institutions are hurting. Their revenue has taken a beating. As a result, they lay people off. In the third paragraph, the biggest Wall Street banks are facing their lowest first half trading revenue in more than a decade. This is important to note. They could blame it on the trade issues. They could blame it on Brexit. Doesn't really matter. As a result, you are seeing people being laid off. Nordia 6,000 job cuts not enough as bank chases more savings. They've been reducing their headcount since 2016. I think that's important to note. However, you could just see that they have been getting rid of people right now. Barclays bosses confirmed thousands of job cuts. More than 3,000 employees made redundant in second quarter show Barclays is not immune to the cost cutting sweeping the industry. Look at this anywhere around the world. You see the same thing. These big financial institutions are quote unquote trimming the fat. HSBC poised to make fresh wave of job cuts as part of the latest restructuring plans. This is yet another company in a long list of companies that have been getting rid of people. Understand what's happening here. Central bank activity doesn't extend the economic cycle. The economic expansion will not persist forever. They only make things worse eventually. Lowe's lays off thousands of store workers. As I said, it's not just the financial industry or the automotive sector. This, of course, is affecting all different types of retail. You could see this going on even with Uber laying off about 400 employees in their marketing department reorganization. This company has their IPO and everybody was piling into it. And it was the company that lost the most money going into their IPO. We are talking about a company that is simply bleeding out from all angles and you could see right here what has happened as a result of their activity more losses job cuts and unfortunately it's not just uber but of course we see lyft having the same problems and other companies as well Huawei cuts 600 jobs from its U.S. research wing after being blacklisted. This is a direct impact of the trade issues, certainly. But of course, we can see things that go deeper. If you look one level deeper, you start to realize what happens when these geopolitical tensions start to rise. You could blame it on certain activities in the short term, but there is an underlying economic slowdown that is occurring that the central bank has suggested they are going to stop from happening. There has never been a case in history where a cycle could be going on indefinitely. They tell you that's what's going to happen, but it never occurs. It always ends. It ends in a bang. It doesn't end in a whimper. 
Nissan will cut 12,500 jobs after its profits plunged 99%. I believe I reported 10,000 jobs Nissan was cutting previously, and now I found this 12,500 jobs. So another 2,500 have been added to the list, if memory serves correct. This is yet another company that has been getting rid of people, this time in the automotive sector. But of course, we see this all down the line. Ryanair CEO says hundreds of jobs on the line over Brexit and the max. This happens to be in the airline sector, but you know what? Everything is being blamed on Brexit right now. If it's raining in London, you want to know why? It's because of Brexit. There is all sorts of different issues that are being blamed on this one simple factor. And yes, it does have an impact for businesses because they don't know what's going to happen in the future. But this has been going on for years. We've been seeing the talks. We've been seeing the negotiations we've seen everything fall apart we've watched the currency taking a beating and of course there are issues here there is no doubt about it but you have to look at what's going on in the actual economy that we're not in 2017 anymore that we're not seeing the boom that was taking place during QE 1 2 and 3 it's not the same anymore and of course we are watching as interest rates have to head even lower they are going to create a bubble that can cannot be resolved by central bank activity. So what do you think is going to happen to all of these corporations who have been relying on the drip, who now have a higher tolerance for it? It's not going to be enough this time around. I found these two really good resources here. I wanted to show you this one first. It's from this company, Challenger Gray and Christmas Inc. In July, U.S.-based employers announced plans to cut 38,845 jobs from their payrolls. That's in one month. Now, it is a decrease from June. I wanted to make that very clear. But check this out at the bottom here. Employment tends to be a lagging indicator as companies often keep hiring up to the edge of a recession. If you were paying attention to what was happening in the financial sector in 2007, 2008, we saw that companies were hiring, they were expanding, they were initiating more construction, more desks being trying to fit into the floors. They were finding every possible way to expand their corporation. And then out of nowhere, it went to a hiring freeze. It went to a standstill and very quickly resulted in layoffs. The change happened so rapidly rapidly and that's the same thing you see with employment companies are doing this over and over again of course you will see this right now with the job signs everywhere come in we're hiring but time and time again we see that this has a hairpin turn that occurs every single time CoreSight provides this research and documents this on a weekly basis, showing you the openings and the closures that are occurring. If you want to know the data for yourself, you have to look no further than CoreSight. They provide this little snapshot free on a weekly basis. Yes, their reports are something that you can go into if you're interested, but you can just get the snapshot for free right here. I will have a link in the description or just go to CoreSight.com to get it for yourself. So far this year, US Retailers have announced 7,500 store closures and 3,000 store openings. If you look deeper into these store openings, you see that 1,000 of these 3,000 are dollar stores. There's nothing wrong with dollar stores. Just trying to show you that people are looking for discounted products and they are not willing to pay a higher price right now. They're trying to penny pinch. They're trying to save. That's what happens at the end of the cycle. People start to feel it. They are going in the most debt they have ever been in history. We are watching credit card balances rise. We are watching the amount of money that people have to pay on a monthly basis for their auto loans and that is rising as well we can see that people are pushed to the edge not just with their credit cards of course but their student debt you look at the personal line of credit home equity line of credit everything is increasing right now and that's not a good sign that eventually will spell disaster but the public simply isn't aware so again if you want to check out this data on a weekly basis then you could just go over to CoreSight, get that for yourself because we need to empower ourselves this information is happening at lightning speed and it's so difficult to keep up. 
Gauge of U.S. manufacturing hits the lowest since September 2009, raising concerns about the economy. This happens to come from IHS Market, marketeconomics.com, and I show you this time and time again, but you can see what's going on. Underlying all of the data I've shown you today, you can see that there is a slowdown that is occurring. The manufacturing gauge shows you that. You can see that this has been going on with all of the hundreds and hundreds of economic statistics that I have shown you it's coming up here and of course if you're willing to piece it together you see that for yourself now this is something that is not going to be pieced together by the mainstream media by those in the industry they are not going to look at it in the way that we do here it's important to do so on your own time simply because if you're looking at the data that they present they give you this but then you watch 25 articles underneath this that tell you the new stocks to buy today and why their valuations are twice as high as where they are. This is the kind of business that we have to deal with every single day. It is truly unfortunate. This is dailyjobcuts.com. If you don't know this website, I've mentioned it a hundred times before, you get all the data here tracked on a daily basis. You see the layoffs, you see the bankruptcies, you see the stores closing, the institutions that are closing, small time businesses, large ones, all of that is covered here. I think it's very important to be able to know this information for yourself and if you don't want to look into it well then you can be ignorant to that information but it's not going to help you in the long term this right here just educates the people whether it's core site whether we're looking at daily job cuts all of this data is so important and that's why i bring it to you if you found this video informative hit that thumbs up button when you do so you are supporting this channel i do appreciate that very much if you want the financial education you were not taught in school these two books have everything you need from top to bottom from a to z you can get all the details at the link in the description if you want the audiobook that's available at the money gps Com. If you want to know what's going on with the Federal Reserve, you definitely need to watch this video. I break it all down. It's so important more now than ever before in this cycle. Check it out. I'll see you there.